Hacks here in Seattle. Now joining me is a guy from Valve Software who's a good friend of the show, Chad. Chad, a few months ago we unveiled Left 4 Dead on the show. And there was another part of the game which we didn't talk about, but tonight we are going to talk about it and show the first ever footage of playable zombies in the game. Well, Left 4 Dead is our competitive side. This is where it's human survivors versus human infected. You get to play that side that's always been causing your life hell. It's all about playing with your friends online in the zombie apocalypse. And it takes four players versus four players. Each map you switch, survivor and then infected. Now in the co-op experience, the infected, they sort of appear at certain parts throughout the map. They're sort of boss characters almost. So how do you sort of play with that balance in the competitive mode? Well, so that's one of the big differences and why we separated the two. In the co-op mode, we have the AI director that controls the pacing. It gives you these peaks and valleys and it'll slow things down if you're getting pounded on and it gives you these little breaks. Well, obviously, if you're playing the infected, you don't want to give anyone a break. Right. So what we did was separate the two, and in the versus mode, you get to spawn in again. It's on all the time. It's a much harder, more brutal game. They can't mess up because the human infected will jump on them in a minute. So you have all five of the infected types constantly on the map at the same time? Well, no. So you don't always have the tanks. You don't always have the witch. But you almost always have, still have, well, you almost always still have the common infected, which are computer controlled still. The witch is computer controlled. And then you have the hunter. And that's the guy who lurks in the shadows and then comes pouncing out. The Jump smoker. Yeah. Smoker grabs you with his 50-foot transfer tongue. And my favorite, the boomer, the vomit attack. Exactly. Wow. He vomits on you, blinds you, and then all the infected come running at you. And then every so often, the tank. The tank's the big giant guy who can rip up pieces of the earth, throw them at you, smash cars around, smash through walls. So we, he's not in all the time because he would just never make it. So at one point you did describe this as kind of a haunted house idea that you were kind of waiting or, you know, the humans come by and then pounding on them. You've changed it now? I mean, so oh, far... Well, so, so the infected are always still about setting up traps. It's all about constructing these ambushes to get the human players. And so what you'll see is guys teaming up. So there's teamwork on that side as well, right? So you just have guys team up, and you'll have a smoker, pull someone in a room where a boomer is, and they'll vomit on them. Or during the tank, when the tank is causing chaos and everyone's going crazy, you'll see a survivor think he can sneak off into a corner and maybe lay low a little bit. And a human hunter will go hunt him out and pounce on him, and then his friends can't get to him because there's a tank between him and them. So, so you have the interactive vomit in this game? Yes. So what happens is you actually vomit on him, and you see all your little pretties, the common horde rushing at him. You see them, they turn a different color, and you get to watch them go and attack that guy. It's a very satisfying feeling. Is that the, is that the best part of this competitive multiplayer? For vomit? me personally, I, I love to vomit on people. Do you have unlimited vomit? All the special attacks reset. So it's the same as the co-op game, that what you've learned there, you, you can have it happen here. So you can push him away, you get a little break after he vomits, he does explode still, and you die a lot, it's infected there. It's, that's you part instantly of it. come right back to the game? Uh, there's a little bit of a respawn timer. It instantly would just be too brutal. It'd give you a little bit of a break. But it's what we normally do like in a TF game or some, one of our other games. It's, it's a nice respawn level. So are the, you know, the human players, are they actually able to take down these infected when you play as them? Sometimes, sometimes not. And that's where the competitive aspect is great, right? Because when you get to the checkpoint and you win that map and you get to play around and infect it, you are all out about stopping that. Or if you, if you got your butt handed to you, you still want to take it down on them. And how we score is, at the end of each round, we decide which survivor group got the farthest. And then if everybody got in the checkpoint, it's like how many got in the checkpoint, what was their health, some other variables. But so it's all based on the survivors getting through there. So. Survivors so number of kills or fighting, number of kills. No, they're just fighting crazy, trying to get through. And you'll see guys doing that desperation run of, they got nobody through. If I just run for it, I'll make it. And it's that smoker tongue, grab them, and it's not happening. Now, is this through the entire, all the maps that we're going to see in the, in the co-op experience? So we've, we've selected off a group. You don't have an exact shipping number right now. But um, some of them lend themselves better to it than others, and so we kind of just trust those for right now. Do we know which ones we're going to see? Uh, we'll definitely be seeing the hospital map. Okay. And then we're looking at some other ones. We will see at least one or two more maps? Yes. Excellent, all right. To be determined, but not unique maps. The maps we'll see in the top experience. Yeah, correct. So the same way. We also, later, obviously, with DLC and through the Steam, we'll be releasing some other ones. And there's some ideas we experimented playing different modes and different styles of play. And I'm sure we'll be seeing those down the road. So much more to come from Left 4 Dead, but it is coming out this year, right? This year, this What's November. November 20th. November 20th. Simultaneous Valve release. time finally arrived. So we set a hard date this time, I'm telling you. We're this, really going to make it? Yes, November 20th, 360 PC. With shippable, playable zombies? Yes. Day one? 
Yes. I'll bet you. Made it. I'll bet you. I'm not going to bet you. You're right. making the game. Right. I believe you, Jen. And it'll be quality. And better than Gears of War, then? I think so. Really? But if he's got problems. It's co op. What? They got co op in their game. But we, we, we have, you don't get to play as a brewmap. Well, so we have, we have ground up co op? Yep. Right, so it's all about the co-op. Every little thing about it to reinforce that, and we have vomit as a weapon. He's got chainsaw. Do they have vomit as a weapon? No. That's my case. It's yeah. also the zombie yeah. apocalypse. Come on. Zombie apocalypse. Co-op. Playable zombies. Co-op. Shotguns. Right. It's a winner. And a good story. We don't tie you up with that story. There's no evil scientists. There's no, as some other games have done, of kind of give you have to sit through story mode now. After you've had some action, you keep it to the action, you learn about it through the checkpoints, the characters talking, but it's run and gun, you're learning it along the way.